So this app is called Classkick, and it can be used on Chromebooks, computers, or iPads. And what Classkick allows you to do is when the student is in a Classkick assignment you've created, the teacher can be across the room or even gone that day and still help the students with their assignments. So I'll show you a little bit of what that looks like. So first I'm gonna click on rosters. You have to create the title of your group and you can have an unlimited amount of classes as far as I know. And then the students can log in or you can add them manually. So I'm gonna click new roster and I'm just gonna put example roster. So choose a color, I would choose a different color for each class you create, it just kind of helps you separate them. Single device login is if you want students to only log in on one device. So if it's one to one, you could use this, but it's not a super helpful. Allow new members, you wanna always allow new members. Allow peer helpers, this means the students can help each other on the work. So sometimes this is a good thing, sometimes it's not. You can add students manually, but the easiest way is by using the class code for the assignment. And then once they have signed in before, it will remember them. So I would recommend just using the class code, not adding students manually. So now I have my roster. So it's right here and you can see I have zero right now. So now I'm going to go to assignments. So this will load the assignments that you already have created and they will save in here forever and you can keep them listed however you want, whether it's alphabetical or by date, it depends on what you want. So once this loads, to create a new assignment, oh, and there's a search bar that you can search specific assignments based on their title. But to create a new assignment, you're gonna click this plus button. So I'm going to click the plus so I can create a blank new assignment and that starts in Classkick. I can create from new file and this comes right in from your Google Drive so you can upload readings and everything like that. You can browse sample assignments and I've never actually looked at any of the samples so I'm not sure how they are and this is new that you can create a folder to put different stuff in. So if I go to new blank assignment it's going to open up and I'm going to show you some of the features you have. So first put a name. So we'll just put example assignment. And then you could put a description as well. So access, you can share it with your colleagues or you can just have the student code that it will give you in just a minute. So Right now, it always creates three pages to start with. You can create a point value as well if you want to make it a grade. And as far as I know, you can create an unlimited amount of pages. However, once it gets more than like 15, it kind of takes a while for them to load. So I wouldn't suggest doing that. Then down at the bottom, you're gonna assign a roster. So you can assign as many rosters as you want. I'm just gonna assign example and then one more so you can see the difference. Okay, so example roster, you can share this code with them or just tell them it and they're gonna put that code in when they go to the student page. Same thing, different code for the classes. So those are there and those are the ones you have signed. You just have to give them this code, whether you write it on the board or share the link with them through Google Classroom or another site. So when I go actually into one of the page, just there's multiple things you can do. So just like normal, you have a pen that you can write with and you can change the color of it. If you want to erase something, you just have to hit close to where it is and it erases the whole thing. So you don't have to take your time and erase the line you made. You can add text and by changing the size, you just click plus or minus one downfall is you can only have the same size of text and the same color of text in each box. So if you want a different size and color, then you have to create a new text box. You can also add links. So create a title, we'll just say New Zella or New ZLA, and then www.newzella.com. Save, 
And then when students are on this page, they'll just click the link and it will take them right to that URL. You can add photos or PDFs into it this way. You can add voice. And this is a great thing to do if you have like low readers, you can actually read it. And so I'll just show you what it looks like. So if I start recording, it's starting recording. So you would just read the text on the page when you're finished, push stop. And a recording button comes up here for the students to play. So then they're able to play it and listen to the whole reading. So they don't have to read it themselves. They can hear you reading it too. This is brand new, adding multiple choice. So it looks like you have to pay for this feature. I've never used it before, but it's just more of a quiz type feature. The point button is still here, so you can have and change however many points you want this page to be worth. So then to get to the next page, I can just click the arrow and it will go to my next page. And to get back out so I can see the whole assignment, I'm just gonna click the back arrow and I can see those pages. So I didn't use this page so I can delete it or I can duplicate it as well. I can reorder assignments so you can just move them by reordering them, but I'm gonna delete. So this is only one page. And then when I'm done, I just click the back arrow and then my assignments is saved in here. So in the next video, I'll show you what the student version looks like so you can see student and teachers and how it kind of collaborates with each other.